Hi everyone, I Dipali Manchanda welcome you all to this session by Infinity Learn. Welcome everyone. Bacha Pati, we are starting off this session, this series, which we call as NCERT line by line. As committed to you, we are going to discuss few questions with you in each and every session here. I hope you're ready for the session, you're ready for the marathon, because in this session, I will be discussing 50 botany questions with all of you. These questions have a lot of importance if we are talking in terms of your board exams also because I have concentrated on the 12th syllabus for today because I know you're going to give your boards so you must have that in mind that we have to prepare for the boards okay so hence I've put all the course of your 12th standard here so that you prepare for your 12th standard in accordance with the board exams with the need. So we have few members here, we have Pankaj here, hi Pankaj, how are you, we have Rahul here, welcome Bita, welcome both of you, Bita please forward this link to your friends also so that we could have more competitors here to give the answers to the questions we are going to do, Namaste Bita, Namaste, please like the session, subscribe to the channel so that you could get the more notifications. Whatever we are doing, you get to know that. So you can press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications also. We are just waiting for some moment so that we all can join, get a good team here so that we could start it off. Pankaj, I am all good. Thank you so much for asking. I hope all of you are doing good too. I know preparing for your boards and everything. Everyone who is here, I want you to ping a hi or something in the chat box so that I get to know it. Everyone, we need full on energy because when we are doing the questions, we have to be on our toes because time is also a factor. I won't give you much time. I am here to push you, push you up through the questions, push you through your preparation. Everyone, firstly, 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 please share the link. Pankaj says, ma'am, I will watch the recorded session. It would be good if you would, if you would be here. But uh, watching is a different thing and solving the questions with me is a very different thing because that actually demarcates your speed also. What you're taking, I'll get to know. You're doing it fastly, you're doing it slowly or something. You cannot do laurels by just saving this time that I'll look at it at 2x speed. I got it. Neat exam doesn't happen like that, everyone. I want all of you to be around while we discuss this. It would be fun. I hope your preparations for the board exams and the NEET is going very well. We are here to boost the preparation with this series called as NCERT line by line. You will be made to practice questions here, a lot of questions here of all the subjects that would make your preparation good. Pankaj, you're going in, you're saying that you will look at it at 2x speed and then also you don't want me to discontinue the series. You have to stay there for that, right? You have to stay there. In a minute or two, we are just starting with it because anyway, we have to finish the questions here. The more practice we could do, it would be better for us, right? The more we could practice, it would be better for us. Everyone who is looking at it, please, please, please just post a hi in the chat box so that I get to know you're here. Okay, so shall we start with it? We're anyway going to discuss it. We are being consistent with our efforts. We will be consistent with our efforts. Shall we start with it? Is Rahul here? Rahul, are you here? Shall we start with the session? Pankaj is here. Chalo beta. Let's, let's, let's start with it then. Because we anyway have to go by the question numbers also. 
so everyone projecting on the screen is our question number one if you look at here we have to identify a to d in the following diagram in the diagram which is put here you can see that a is here b is here c is here and there it is d i am writing it again this is d okay you have options that what are these a to d paths look at it fastly and i'm waiting for your answers i'm not going to give you much time i don't mind putting a timer for all of you to if you take too much of time both of you i'm looking for the answers here what do you think what is a b c and d rahul and pankaj waiting for your answers here really fast just put some elimination here put some elimination okay i got an answer from rahul rahul says that it is a pankaj wants to answer is pankaj here pankaj wants to answer is pankaj here let's see if a is the answer or not to this question everyone okay now rahul says d rahul it means that you have to be a little more better with your analysis right the answer has to be correct okay it has to be correct in the very first go let's see this everyone let's see the question we're looking at the structure i know that it is the structure of a cut anther we can see that anther okay so first of all something that i'm very sure of what would i do if i would be a student like you i clearly know that these three things are clumped so first of all i know that a is the stalk of the anther which i usually call as the filament if i see the options everyone what would i do first of all i see filament here and i see filament here i see filament here so i eliminate option number c i eliminate option number c i know that b is the line of dehiscence by which the anther will burst to release the pollen grains so b is the line of dehiscence b is the line of dehiscence that makes me eliminate a and b so what is left to be my answer is option number d a is the filament b is the line of dehiscence you can see you can see that c are the round round structures which are usually present these four are pollen sacs beta number c and inside them we have small small pollen grains which are referred to as d okay so our answer to the question is option number d it is a very simple one but what matters here what matters here is your speed everyone moving to question number 2 in tine is made up of we know that what is in tine it's the layer of the pollen grain okay in tine is made up of what i want the answers really fast this time everyone looking for the answers here what is in tine made up of rahul says c good speed rahul is pankaj here we'll move otherwise no issues we are doing our effort by being here how how we told it we would clear okay everyone looking at the answer here in tine is made up of both cellulose and pectin so my answer is option number c both a and b very good rahul what do we see that if there is a pollen grain there are two layers of the pollen grain everyone the outer layer is known as exine and the inner layer is known as in tine everyone in tine is made up of two components which are my cellulose and my pectin exine is also an important question exine is made up of sporopollen in everyone the exine is made up of a very hard and resistant material which is sporopollen so you should know about both of these by now our answer is c to this question very good rahul you're doing great number 3 functional megaspore in an angiosperm develops into what i'm saying functional megaspore in an angiosperm develops into what ovule endosperm embryo sac or 
it's an embryo very fast everyone what does it develop into okay rahul says see which is embryo sac rahul says see we have mamtha here mamtha also says see i'm waiting for more answers here i'm waiting for more answers here very good everyone doing it wrong is still okay rather than not answering okay we just here to learn better we just here to learn more everyone i've got two answers here which is option number c and i'm waiting for more answers here if there are any there are any students who are trying on it okay i've got two answers and yes my right answer is embryo sac everyone my right answer is what everyone my right answer is embryo sac we all know that there are three three megaspores which are actually non functional which are actually non functional everyone and there is one which is functional everyone it is this functional megaspore which forms the complete embryo sac everyone it is this embryo sac which has my egg apparatus which has my polar nuclei and the three antipodal cells so this embryo sac was actually made up of this functional megaspore this functional megaspore so my answer is option number c here very good both of you very good i'm moving to the next question which one of the following plants shows a very close relationship with the species of moth where none of the two can complete its life cycle without each other so it means that it is an obligate relationship because both of them cannot live without each other what is the answer everyone is it banana yucca hydrilla or viola fast everyone fast i want us to cover more i want us to be a little faster rahul mamtha any other viewers which are here rahul says b very good rahul very abrupt good timing mamtha what do you think other students i want you to answer here it will be a good journey if you like doing it like that waiting for mamtha here i've got one answer already very good rahul you're doing amazing we're covering whole 12th year i'm talking about a relationship between moth okay shows a variety shows a very close relationship with the species of moth what is it rahul thinks it is b i'm going to wait for 20 30 seconds more before i reveal the answer here already got one answer here which is b and yes everyone the answer is yakka the answer is yakka yakka shows a very close relationship it shows a very very close relationship with the moth that none of them can exist without each other very important question everyone moving to question number 5 here which is the correct sequence of the development of microsporogenesis when i'm talking about microsporogenesis i'm talking about the male counterpart everyone you can see four sequence of events here right you can see four sequence of events here as to how it is going what do you think is the answer what is the last formed thing looking for the answers from you everyone rahul what is the answer is mamtha here mamtha what is the answer pankaj we have bhargavi ready and we've got one answer which says b here which says b here is this b for this question bhargavi bhargavi is this b for this this very question number 5 you're talking mamtha says d rahul says d okay okay just confirming with bhargavi because the previous answer was b okay everyone very good the answer to this question is option number d because we know that we have a sporogenous tissue for the first go 
सेल्स ऑफ द स्पोरोजनस टिश्यू आर नथिंग एल्स बट द पोलन मदर सेल्स वी नो दैट द पोलन मदर सेल्स अंडर गोज रिडक्शन डिविजन और मियोसिस टू फॉर्म द माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्राड टेट्राड मीन्स इट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ फोर सेल्स एवरी वन इट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ फोर माइक्रोस्पोर्स these microspores each microspores develop to form one pollen grain can you tell me if i am talking about pollen grain i know that pollen grain has male gamete in it how many male gametes one pollen grain has everyone bhargavi rahul mamta how many male gamete one pollen grain has in it what do you think yes d is my answer absolutely correct how many male gametes are there in the pollen grain is my next question to you we're going above and over the question so that if the examiner changes a little bit we would be able to answer it bachcha party if i'm talking about one pollen grain one pollen grain has got very good rahul it has got two male gametes in it it has got Two male gametes in it. Very good, everyone. Very good. Question number six. Which one from those given below is the period of Mendel's hybridization experiment? Now I have very good, very good, Rahul. Now I have heard this story. I have heard this story that Mendel did his experiments for a span of seven years. But what is that time period? Can anyone come up with an answer here? i'm just making you realize that yes it is important to know the years sometimes okay mamtha says a what about rahul rahul what do you think is bhargavi here to answer we are rushing a bit we have to cover a lot of questions here i've got one answer i've got two answers waiting for 10 to 20 seconds more if there is anyone else very good mamtha very good rahul the answer to this question is option number a he did the experiments from 1856 to 1863 which is a span of 7 years he did the experiments on garden pea very good bhargavi ready very good very good very good now we are getting that momentum that i want all of you to have 7 years the experiment was in garden pea or pisum or pisum sativum right we know that it is a self replicating species uh, self hybridized species moving to question number 7 what map unit or centimorgan is adopted in the construction of the genetic map when i am making a genetic map what am i looking at what distance am i talking about there are four pointers here there are four pointers here everyone looking for your answers here very fast you doing great everyone bhargavi mamtha rahul let's let's make up this space and cover the questions by the end of it we're definitely going to learn something new no matter what when i'm saying the centimorgan what am i actually calculating what am i actually calculating everyone what do you think okay i've got one answer which says c okay what about you rahul rahul you have to be fast bhargavi what is the answer other students who are there with me what is the answer to this question i've got one answer here fast everyone next time if you're slow i'm going to put a stopwatch here in front of me just one answer here it's not a very typical question it's not a very typical one rahul says b okay i appreciate analyzing you and giving you a giving a giving a correct answer anyway bhargavi do you want to answer this any other student who's here bhargavi says a so i've got a variation of answers here bhargavi says a rahul says b now rahul says d okay so a lot of confusion here i see a lot of confusion i see here let's jump to the question everyone let's jump to the question what map unit or centimorgan is adopted in the construction of genetic map first of all i should understand one thing that one thing is when i'm talking about the map unit i am talking about first of all a chromosome and i am talking about the distance which is there in between the two genes on the chromosome i am talking about a chromosome 
and the two genes which are present on the same chromosome and the distance between them. Okay, so a unit of distance between two expressed genes? No, we didn't talk about it. Distance between genes on the chromosomes representing 50% crossover between genes on chromosome representing 1% crossover distance between two expressed genes no i know that the answer is in between b and c but it represents always 1% crossover everyone why because 1 centimorgan is equivalent to 1% crossover everyone 1 centimorgan is equivalent to 1% crossover this 1 centimorgan is the distance between the two genes on the chromosome. So my answer is B everyone. Even if you haven't read it, you should know to analyze it and give the right one. Very good Rahul, I want you to be more confident the next time. Okay, everyone question number 8. Which one of the following pairs is wrongly matched? Wrongly matched I am saying. If you know the three correct ones, then also you can answer it very fine. If you know the three correct ones, then also you can answer it very fine. Exotype of sex determination is shown in grasshopper. ABO blood group is an example of co-dominance. Start synthesis in P is an example of multiple allele. TH Morgan gave the concept of linkage. I want all the viewers here to at least comment. You can be wrong, that is okay. I appreciate you answering at least. Rahul Bhargavi Mamtha. Bhargavi says B. Other students, fastly, Rahul, what is it? Okay, Bhargavi wants to change her answer. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Elimination, everyone. It, it will work smoothly in this question. Elimination. We can do it, everyone. The more faster you're giving it, the more number of questions we would be able to cover. No answers. Rahul, what do you think? Bhargavi thinks it is C. Very good. Very good. Other students? Rahul, what is it? Mamtha, what is it? I'm moving ahead otherwise. Don't skip a question like this. It's an, it's an easy one. Mamtha says C. Very good. Is Rahul here? Rahul says B. Everyone, let's discuss this one. Exotype of sex determination. When we are doing this, we are actually learning four concepts, everyone. Always remember this. Exotype of sex determination is seen in a grasshopper. Yes, everyone. If I am talking about the female of the grasshopper, we will represent it like this. If we are representing the male counterpart of the grasshopper, it will be represented by this. So we usually say that XX exotype is the type of sex determination in grasshopper. This is a correct statement. ABO blood group is an example of co-dominance. Yes, it is exactly an example of co-dominance. Why? Because we know that there is a blood group called AB where A and B are equally expressed. That is co-dominance. This is also correct. We know that TH Morgan gave the concept of linkage. So my answer is option number C. Because start synthesis in P is an example of incomplete dominance. But even if you don't know that, you know that all these three are true. So what is the one which is not true or incorrectly matched? This is option number C. This is not an example of multiple allelism, everyone. Paint with Ashwarya, very good, beta. C is my answer to it. Moving to question number nine. A normal woman, very easy question. Don't get scared because it is pedigree. Okay, everyone. A normal woman whose father was colorblind marries a normal man what kind of children can be expected and in what proportion you have to make a cross i'm giving you a minute everyone i'm giving you a minute we'll try to do as much questions as possible in this hour you have to be quick for that any answers here solve it everyone a little faster ashwarya says a, okay, okay, I appreciate such prompt answers, very good. What about others, is Mamtha here, Bhargavi here, Rahul here to answer? 
I'll do the cross very fast for you. Mamtha also says A. Good pace everyone, good pace. We can do a good deal of things like that. Waiting for the others who are still trying. Rahul says A. Very good. Is Bhargavi here? Okay. Let's let's do it everyone. You're saying it right all of you. My answer is option number A. Because I know that the woman we are talking about is a carrier because her father was color blind. So a carrier woman is represented like this. And she is married to a man who is very normal. So these are the parents which are being crossed. If I separate the gametes like this, it would come out to be this X and Y. And if I see the four combinations which are possible, everyone you can make a Punnett square also. So this would be X, X, okay. This would be X and Y. This would be and this would be now what do you see? What do you see? What are the females here everyone? Daughter number one, daughter number two. None of the daughter is diseased everyone. All the daughters are normal. None of the daughter is diseased. These are the two sons and out of them one is color blind. So 50% of the son are color blind. We got our answer here which is option number A. Very good all of you. Very good. Amazing. Next one in Antirhinum, Snapdragon, a red flower was crossed with a white flower. We know the incomplete dominant cross, right? And in the F1 generation, pink flowers were obtained, yes. When pink flowers were selved, F2 generation shows white, red and pink flowers. Choose the incorrect statement from the following. You have to choose the incorrect, incorrect statement out of these. All three of you fastly. What is the incorrect one here? What is the incorrect one? This is the pink flower case everyone. What do you think? I'm waiting for your answers here. Pink color in the F1 is due to incomplete dominance, okay. This is the F2 ratio which we usually obtain. Rahul says the answer is D. This experiment does not follow the principle of dominance. Rahul, did you see one thing? That there is a thing called... I am just giving you a heads up here. I am just giving you a heads up here. Ashwarya says the answer is C. Ashwarya says the answer is C. Let's see. Any more answers? Mamtha, do you want to answer this? Mamtha, do you feel like answering this one? Everyone, the answer to this question is option number C. Law of segregation does not apply in this experiment, but it does. Everyone, if you will see, I know that the pink color is due to incomplete dominance. Yes, because I had capital R, small r and it gave rise to a pink color, which is incomplete dominance, correct? The F2 ratio is absolutely this, right? This experiment does not follow the principle of dominance. Yes, because this is the principle of incomplete dominance. Correct. So this is also correct. What is not correct, everyone? That law of segregation does not apply in this experiment. Beta law of segregation is applicable here. Why? Because even after the incomplete dominance, in the F2's cross, I can still see red and the white flowers. It means, yes, the genes do show segregation. Are you understanding? Because I am getting red and whites also, so it shows that law of segregation applies well here. Applies well here. So my answer is option number C. Everyone, next thing, you have to match the following. Be very quick here. You have to match the following everyone. There are chromosomal aberrations on the left hand side column. Inversion, duplication, deletion, translocation. 
okay these are the features of all the changes we have mentioned all the aberrations we have mentioned what do you think is the answer quick 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 paint with aishwarya rahul mamtha bhargavi answers 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 your question number 11 paint with aishwarya says the answer is c that the answer is c mamtha says the answer is b rahul says the answer is c let's see this everyone yes yes my answer to this question is option c why bacha patti what is inversion inversion means something is being rotated by 180 degrees right if suppose it is a b c by inversion it will become c b a per se so this is 180 degree inversion so what is inversion change in the linear order of genes by 180 degree rotation a is joined to 1 so it means my answer is either a or c b is not the answer d is not the answer if you will see duplication duplication addition of part of chromosome so that it is represented twice doubled b is joined with Three. My answer is C. Deletion. I can see the word loss here. Loss of part of a chromosome is deletion. Translocation means one thing is shifting from one place to the other place. Shifting of a part of chromosome that is translocation. My answer is C. Is it clear, Mamtha? Is it clear to you? We are moving to question number twelve. Which of the following is or are Mendelian disorders? There is a list. Thalassemia, cystic fibrosis. phenyl ketonuria which of these which of the, these is or are are mendelian disorders everyone answers answers here in the chat box very fast rahul mamtha paint with aishwarya what is it paint with aishwarya says it is d rahul says it is b mamtha do you want to answer this one what is it let's try at least let's try at least rahul says it's d okay so two of uh, two of my students say that it is d what about others okay very good mamtha it is d all of them are mendelian disorders very good everyone which of the following is which of the following are all nucleotides yes we are talking about dna there are options adenosine cytidylic acid cytosine adenylic acid cytidylic acid guanylic acid cytidine adenine adenylic acid everyone even if you don't know anything you can answer this i'm saying that in which of the option all the nucleotides are present even if you don't know it you can answer by just seeing the pattern of it paint with aishwarya says it is b mamtha says it is b rahul says it is b everyone bhargavi also says it is b very good everyone the answer is b i can i can already see that all the three statements which are aligning with each other guanylic acid cytidylic acid adenylic acid all of these are nucleotides amazing everyone amazing my answer is b very good okay is it clear everyone all these three are nucleotides okay whenever i say adenosine everyone whenever i say adenosine it is different when i say adenine it is different it's all different everyone the answer is b the answer is b everyone okay all these three are nucleotides in the following given diagram of chemical structure of dna everyone this is the structure of dna which is given here i hope this is visible to you we have to identify the bondings in a b and c we have to identify the bondings i am making it clear here there is this bond which i want to know that what is it number 1 okay a is here you can identify b very easily this is the b bond and you can identify c also very easily which is this bond i have highlighted it here so that it's it's clear what are these bonds everyone question number 
14th it is. You can just have a catch on one. Paint with Aishwarya says that it is D. Others, 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 what do you think? Be prompt with it. Be prompt with it. You have to save all the time of your paper from biology itself, everyone. Mamtha says D. Paint with Aishwarya says D. I'm waiting for Rahul and Bhargavi here. I'm waiting for Rahul and Bhargavi here and then I'm moving to the next one. Rahul says D. Bhargavi, you here? Very good, all of you. The answer to this question is absolutely D. How will I identify it? I can see that this dotted thing by which two nucleotides are connected to each other, this is always hydrogen bonding. So I know that B is hydrogen bonding. I, I am very sure that B is the one which is joining two nucleotides and this is definitely hydrogen bonding and it is present only in option number D. You will see that this is this has something to take with phosphorus. So it is my phosphodiester bond everyone. This is my phosphodiester bond and A bond is glycosidic bond. Very good everyone. The association of histone H1 with a nucleosome indicates what? Bhargavi, focus on this one very fast. It's a small one. I'm talking about H1 histone. Beta H1 is a linker histone in a nucleosome. What does it represent? It is a very easy one. It's a very easy one, this question. What do you think it is? Transcription is occurring, replication is occurring. DNA is condensed into a chromatin fiber or is it DNA double helix is exposed? What is it everyone? Giving you only 30 seconds more. Okay, paint with Ashwarya says A. What about others? What about others? What do you think? What is the answer here? Paint with Ashwarya is confused here. Okay, everyone, everyone. The answer to this question is option number C. The answer to this question is option number C. Why? Because beta, histones are involved in the packaging of DNA. Histones are involved in the packaging of DNA everyone. Ashwarya C, if the DNA is packaged, then only it gets condensed into a chromatin fiber because histone is doing the packaging and in the process it forms nucleosome. So my answer is option number three. I hope this is clear to you Ashwarya and everyone else who is looking at, looking it at. Histones are involved in the process of DNA packaging. So that is why we say that DNA is condensed into a chromatin fiber everyone. Question number 16 Vachapati. This is the sequence from the coding strand of a gene what will be the corresponding sequence of the transcribed mrna very good ashwarya you you must know that if you are giving the coding sequence then what is the sequence of the mrna this is a small trick you don't have to apply too much and do it everyone let's see how much do you know i've put a little lengthy questions this time i guess but it's okay i want to be a little i wanted to be a little Conceptual, okay, Rahul says that the answer is C. What about Aishwarya? What about Mamtha? What do you think, everyone? Looking for more answers here. Question number 16th that we are talking about. Rahul says C. What about Aishwarya, Bhargavi, Mamtha? Okay, so two of my students are saying that the answer is C. Ashwarya says C. Very good, everyone. The answer is C. The answer is C. Why? Because if I have the sequence of the coding strand, it is known as coding strand because its sequence is exactly similar to the mRNA. It is just that in place of, in place of T, everyone, we place a U. Right, everyone? In place of T, we place, a, we place a U. Otherwise, it's named as coding strand because its sequence is exactly similar to the mRNA. If I see this, I'm just putting U in the place of 
T and I am getting option number third and this is the answer. Very good all of you, very good. The following diagram refers to the process of transcription in eukaryotes. Identify A, B, C and D everyone. First everyone, we've got 20 minutes and we're going to use all of it. We're going to use all of it. Very good Bhargavi, very good. All four of you, I'm waiting for this. The first two, three chapters, there are little ones where you have to think a lot. The next ones are very straightforward. So we'll be going a little faster after this. But the answer here, you can see the steps everyone. This is A. So I'm talking about the enzyme. This is B. This is C. And this is D. This is D. I've got answers. Waiting for answers everyone. Bhargavi, Aishwarya, Mamtha, Rahul, what is it? If you, if you just know the enzyme, everyone, you can answer it this quick. If you just know the enzyme, you can answer it this quick. Okay, I've got, a, got an answer. We have Ashwarya, we have Mamtha. We have, we've got Rahul also. Very good, everyone. The answer is C. Even if you know that it is RNA polymerase 2 which is involved in the process. Okay, so you can easily eliminate d you can easily eliminate this one okay both of them are poly a tail i know that okay the next thing is i already know that introns are the non-coding ones so introns are not appearing in the final one very good everyone very good my answer is option number c which of the following features very important question which of the following features of genetic code does allow bacteria to produce human insulin by our DNA technology. What is the property of the genetic code by which we are using the insulin which is derived from the bacteria? Genetic code is redundant, nearly universal, specific and non-ambiguous. What is it? Bhargavi says it is A. Ashwarya thinks it is C. Any other answers? Rahul thinks it is B. So, we've got variable answers here. Very good, everyone. Very good. Bacha Pati, the answer to this question is B. The answer is B. It's a very important question, everyone. It's a very important question. Very, very important question. Why, Bacha Pati? Because we are saying that the genetic code, suppose there is an amino acid. There is an amino acid. It would be coding the same if I talk about a bacteria, a plant, an animal, a human being. So my code is universal everyone. Since it is universal, so the insulin which is derived from the bacteria, we can also use that because the code is universal. All of you, I want a thumbs up here if this is clear to all of you. Very important question, I'm starring it here. Most of the students do it wrong. Most of the students do it wrong, everyone. Very good, Mamtha. Very good, Rahul. Bhargavi, Eshwara, I want everyone to send a thumbs up if this is clear. Because the code is same, it is universal, whether I'm talking about a bacteria or a human being. So we can use the insulin which is derived from bacteria also through the use of recombinant DNA technology. I've got just one thumbs up, two thumbs ups. Other students, clear, 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 clear. Very good. Moving to the next one. Gene library or DNA library has the collection of what? We're going faster now everyone. We're going faster. Last 15 minutes. We have to cover more or more questions here. What is the answer? Library has got what DNA? Okay, I, I, I told the answer. I think a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> everyone. What's the answer to this when I'm talking about a gene library? We're done with the, the difficult questions now. We have the abrupt giving questions now. Rahul says it is C. What about others? Ashwarya, what do you think? Mamtha, what do you think? Bhargavi, what do you think? We can do it, everyone. I've got another answer, which is C. Very good, very good. Bachapati, this is C. 
my gene library is made up of complementary dna c is complementary c is complementary what is this complementary dna if i have an organism i have the mrna of the organism then c dna is formed from that mrna everyone that is complementary dna which makes the gene library very good everyone the sensitivity of dna fingerprinting can be increased by i am doing dna fingerprinting how can i increase its sensitivity everyone be a little faster we can do it how can we increase its sensitivity i am doing dna fingerprinting do i need to sequence the introns also use your minds using exon sequences using pcr reaction or all of the above what do you think ashwarya says c you necessarily everyone don't need to know everything you can use your brains a little very good both of you my answer is c why because using pcr i can make copies of that dna very good mamtha i can make copies of that dna so pcr will increase the sensitivity of the dna fingerprinting very good everyone very good all four of you next homozygous pure lines in cattle can be obtained by how can i make pure lines mating related individuals same breed unrelated individuals same breed in individuals of different breed in individuals of different species what do you think is the answer we can be very fast here i'm trying to cover as many questions as possible i've got two answers here already i'm waiting for mamtha and bhargavi i'm giving 10 15 seconds more so that mamtha and bhargavi can answer i've got two answers saying a i've got two answers saying a very good bhargavi are you here bhargavi we are missing you very good everyone it is a whenever i'm talking about pure lines everyone in pure lines i am always mating the same breed so that i can fix the characters so pure line is always made by the same breed and not by unrelated or different breeds or different species my answer is a jaya and ratna are varieties of what can be very quick here jaya ratna are varieties of what when i was a student i was like okay jaya might be some girl who used to love what wheat maize rice or millet very good everyone bachcha party amazing jaya and ratna jaya likes rice so jaya and ratna are varieties of rice bachcha party in mung bean important question purely from ncert mung bean resistance to yellow mosaic virus is due to what is due to what resistance to yellow mosaic virus in mung bean is brought about by what technique what technique do we use Mamtha Ashwarya Rahul waiting for you Ashwarya says it is A okay what about others Rahul says it is A okay Bachcha party sare answers NCERT mein hai mutational breeding helped mung bean to get resistance to yellow mosaic virus okay very good everyone bio fortified varieties of wheat what are the names of the bio fortified varieties of wheat bhargavi says a very good beta very good bhargavi what about this atlas 66 ir8 kalyan sona sonalika prompt answers here straight forward questions everyone we have 10 minutes ashwarya says c rahul says a any other answers here any other answers here the answers are the questions are very simple it's just that we have a lot to cover so we miss on, so we miss on things bachcha party the answer to this question is option number a option number a very good mamtha why because i know that ir is a variety of rice which is a semi dwarf variety we know that kalyan sona and sonalika yes they are varieties of wheat but they are disease resistant varieties they are not the bio fortified varieties the bio fortified variety of wheat is atlas 
which is rich in proteins high protein content my answer is a bhargavi aishwarya i hope this is clear to both of you i hope this is clear to both of you read the given statements high aspartic acid low nitrogen and sugar content in maize leads to resistance to maize stem borers quite a good statement right pusa sada bahar is a variety of chili i am reading it for you it's a resistant variety which is which is resistant to chili mosaic virus norman e burlong developed some semi dwarf varieties of wheat germ plasm collection is the collection of all sexual genes of an individual you have to choose the incorrect statement everyone i know it would take a little time but i think you can do it everyone what is it we have 10 minutes more aiming to cover at least 10 more questions in the next 10 minutes i've got an answer which says a i'm waiting for more here i'm waiting for more here everyone any answers bhargavi says the answer is a see you have to know a lot of information from ncert actually to solve all of these you need to be on your toes everyone ashwarya thinks it say okay everyone let's see this bacha party bacha party a statement statement number 1 is absolutely correct high aspartic acid low nitrogen and sugar content leads to the resistance to stem borers a right statement a right statement a right statement the only incorrect statement is the definition of germ plasm collection because germ plasm collection is the collection of all the genes and their alleles which are present in an organism right which is present in an organism very good mamtha my answer is option number c all the three statements above are absolutely correct okay everyone the microscopic proteinaceous infectious agents if you know the definition of all of these you will be able to do it in a second what is it ashwarya mamtha rahul bhargavi what is it the microscopic proteinaceous infectious agent is what answers to this one rahul says b okay any other answers here or shall i move to the explanation ashwarya what about it mamtha what about it very good rahul very good mamtha the answer to this is prions everyone we know that prions are infectious proteins very good ashwarya they are infectious proteins which are abnormally folded infectious proteins which are abnormally folded are prions goes by the definition today a traditional drink of south india is made by doing a process and dash of sap of the dash tree is used okay everyone very very easy very easy we're talking about a drink which is known as toddy toddy is made by what ashwarya says b bhargavi says is is it is it b for all of you or is was it the previous one looking for the answers for this one all of you we're going to cover two three more questions let's let's wind it up at 30 Let's wind it up at thirty questions. Rahul says the answer is A. Okay. What about others? What about others? Mamtha says it is A. Ashwarya, what do you think? Bhargavi, what do you think it is? Everyone, toddy is this drink which is made by the process of fermentation, and the plant which is used is. palm yes the plant which is used is palm everyone very correct so my answer to this question is a everyone next one the alcoholic beverage produced by distillation of the fermented broth the one which is formed by distillation what combination 
of these four is formed by distillation. We have got two more questions after this to do. All of you, what is it? Mamtha Rahul Aishwarya, what is it? First is wine and beer, wine, whiskey, brandy, whiskey, brandy, rum, whiskey, beer, brandy. Answers everyone. Okay, Aishwarya says it is C. What about others? What do you think? Very fast everyone. Just two more questions and we are wrapping this up. Rahul says C. Very good everyone. By distillation we get all these three. Okay. If I talk about this and this. Wherever they are present. They are not formed by distillation. Distillation is not used in the production of these two. That is why all the three are not my answers. Option number C is the answer everyone. Okay. In the biological treatment of sewage, the masses of bacteria held with fungal filaments, they form a mesh like structure which is known as what everyone? Last second question of the session everyone, what is it known as? We are talking about mesh of fungal filaments, it is a very significant one with respect to your boards also. Very good Rupa, very good Aishwarya, very good everyone. My answer is what? We are talking about flocks, very good Rahul. Flocks, it is a combination of bacteria and fungal filaments which forms a mesh like structure. Last question everyone, which of the following can be used as a biocontrol agent in the treatment of plant disease? Very good Mamtha. Bacha Pati, the last question for the session, we will wrap up the session today. What is it? Biocontrol agent I am talking about. Is it chlorella, anabina, lactobacillus or trichoderma? What is it? Okay, Shwarya says it is D which is trichoderma. What about others? What do you think about this? Rahul says it is D. Mamtha says it is D. Others, very good beta. The answer is trichoderma. Everyone, trichoderma is actually a fungus who lives in the root system of the plant, very good rupa and it protects the plant from the attack of various pathogens. It protects the plant from the action of various pathogens. My answer is trichoderma everyone. Bacha Pati, next time I will try that we are starting the session on good time number one. We are starting the session on good time everyone so that we could cover more and more questions, right? So that everyone here we could cover more and more questions, okay? So Bacha Pati, meanwhile, please like the session, like the session, press the bell icon so that you are getting the notification whenever we are having a session here, okay? And share the link with your friends so that we could have more members here in the chat box to compete with. Okay, everyone, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the session. If there are any feedbacks, anything you'd, you'd want to ask, you can put that in the comment box, everyone. Okay, you can put the same in the comment box and we're going to meet with a session of botany tomorrow also. I'll try that we are moving to th from 30 questions, we move to 40 questions in a session. But I, I would want them to cover properly. I don't want to rush with you not understanding them. Okay. So if we are a team, we can increase our speed because now we have a good tuning. So I want at least all of you tomorrow at the same time to be here. Okay. We would try to cover 40 questions instead of 30 tomorrow. Okay. So I want at least all of you same time Saturday 4 to 5 p.m. here everyone. Okay. Thank you, Bacha Party. Please share it with your friends so that we could have a large audience here. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Do like and subscribe the channel for the same. Thank you, everyone. Stay tuned.